Let's take a look at how a Solidity Token Factory smart contract works. Okay, so here we have some code. We're using the MIT license and the latest version of Solidity. And then we're importing the Open Zeppelin library for the ERC20 token. And then we go on to our first contract, the token contract. We're passing in a name, a ticker symbol, and a circulating supply. The circulating supply will be sent to the person that calls this function. So when the token is deployed, the circulating supply gets minted and sent to the person that deployed the contract. They will effectively own all the tokens. Now we can just copy this code into Remix and deploy that token straight from there. But if we go back to the code, we've got a second contract here, a factory contract. And the job of a factory contract is to deploy code from within the smart contract itself. So we're going to deploy the token contract from the factory contract. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So we've got an array of addresses and a token count and an event at the top. And we've got a deploy token function, and this is available to anyone, it's a public function. We're passing in a name, ticker symbol, and supply again, and it returns the address, the address of the token that we're about to mint. We then go ahead and create a new token using this contract here, or the ABI for this contract. And then we're gonna transfer the entire supply to the person, to the end user that called this function. And the reason for this is because the factory contract is actually deploying the token, it means that the contract itself owns all the tokens because the contract is message.sender. So that's getting sent the total supply of that token and we then need to transfer them out to the end user. We then push the token address to the array, increase the count and emit the token deployed event. Finally, returning the token contract address to the user. In effect, we've created a factory contract which is able to go live on the Ethereum mainnet somewhere and run off ERC20 compatible tokens for anyone that wants one using just a name, a ticker symbol, and a total supply.